So this is going to be a brief overview of how to use ICPSR, which is a database through uh, the Trinity University Library. There's a link for this data, database um, through the course to learn, but you can also go through the library webpage. So the ICPSR stands for Inter University Consortium for Political and Social Research. And Trinity University is a member institution, which means you have access to an archive of data uh, from over 6,000 different studies from across the world. And so this isn't an archive of articles. This is an archive of typically raw data sets right, that you can use to do your own analysis. So if we click on this, um, what we want to do is we want to find and analyze data. And there's lots of different ways that we can find data through ICPSR. One thing you should know is that you can log in and create an account, and this gives you access through Trinity um, to all kinds of different data. There are many, many data sets here that you do not have access to unless you are logged in. So you should create an account while you're on campus, while you're on the Trinity wireless system, and you can actually then access it even when you're off campus as long as you log in. So a couple of different ways we can find data. One, it can be that we're looking for a very unusual variable, right? So we're trying to find one data set, just one, that has all the variables we're interested in. So say I'm very interested in um, this issue of charter schools. We have to be aware that this search and compare variables data set is um, it, it's not comprehensive. Um, say we're really interested in charter schools. So what this will do is it'll pull up every survey that mentions charter schools. How much have you heard or read about charter schools? Um, whether or not something, uh, this is a school and staffing survey from the 1999 through 2000 that um, includes information about charter schools. This is also a survey of schools themselves. This is about somebody asking their opinion about whether or not charter schools are a good or bad idea. This could be really useful if you are looking to write your own survey question about charter schools or you're trying to find a good survey that asks about whether or not someone is in a charter school, right? You want to be attentive to what year you're looking at. You probably don't want to look at a survey from the 1980s unless you're, you're studying that. Um, this is a very general survey, for gender, mental illness, and crime in the United States. 2004, so they might have asked a bunch of different questions that you're interested in. If you're interested in gender, if you're interested in mental illness, or anything to do with health, if you're interested in crime, there might be a lot of questions there. Or if you're interested in the outcomes of going to charter schools, right? So this is one approach. Another is to, to browse by topic, by series, by geography, or to view all studies. Um, so if we browse by topic, you can see some of the general kinds of surveys that, the kinds of data that ICPSR has. There's a lot of data on education, on healthcare and health issues. Uh, there's a lot of data on crime here. Community and urban studies includes study of local politics, the Detroit Area Studies Project, which was a series of surveys on um, Detroit and historical urban and community structure studies. So often what you'll find in this, in the ICPSR is that long running surveys, so surveys where they do a survey almost every year, right, which those can be great for comparing across years or for studying children as they grow, for example, a panel study can be great for, um, for looking at, because they ask a lot of questions and some they change some of the questions depending on the year. So you can do some exploring here. So today I want to know about local politics right, in the U.S. I want to look a little bit further. This pulls up 19 results. And say I'm really interested in the Chicago Community Adult Health Study. I need to figure out if this is, um, I need to figure out more about this survey. I need to do, like, figure out how, who, what it was on. It was on adults. Um, they actually did all kinds of different stuff, right? They did a community survey. They did a survey of um, adult individuals. They had a biomedical supplement where they actually looked at um, the person's, like, 
um, physiological issues. And, we'll, and we see here that some of these things are available. So there's a code book, but what we're really looking for is no downloadable data files available. Okay, this is a problem. Um, you can apply online for access to the data. So in this case, we might be able to inquire whether or not we can get access, but we really can't go any further in terms of using this for our project without that those downloadable data files. We can open their code book, right, which will tell us all about the questions that they asked and what the questionnaire looked like. And this is really important if we're going to use this, but, but we can't use this anymore. But say we were going to look at the Detroit Area Studies project instead. So let's do that, Detroit Area Studies. So these were surveys that were done of Detroit and mainly of Arab American individuals. So this is very, very interesting. Actually, I, friends of mine did this survey. And what's great here is you can see that you have to you have to be a user at an ICP Center member institution, right? But they have data in all of these different formats. And what we're really looking for is whether or not you have data in SPSS, right? This is great. We have to first figure out what's in this survey. Like, we don't know what kinds of questions they asked. We really need to go into the code book and look at it. Um, and it may or may not let me download the code book because um, I need to be logged in. But the code book will show us kind of what kinds of kind of how the data is organized, whether it has all of the questions that we want. You notice this is 670 pages of data, right? So I want to look over here and figure out, okay, which part of this is, you know, there's some stuff about sampling design. Um, this is an appendix of their open-ended questions, right? So some of this data at first may be things that they're keeping track of, like where they sampled the person, what day they were surveyed on, that kind of thing. What we're more interested in is what kinds of things that they learned about the people that they that they surveyed. So we're going to see if we can find some of that information here. There is just a lot of data in this particular code book. Okay. How do you use information in your daily life? How do you get um, cable TV? Do you use a Palm Pilot or something like that? Do you get a satellite dish? Is your satellite dish, satellite channels do you watch? This might be very interesting if we're interested in like media use among Arab Americans, right? This would, then we would know, okay, this is a good project for us. We would want to make sure, if we were interested in using this survey, that both our independent and dependent variables were represented, right? So we'd want to really look and see, like, are all of the things we're interested in here? Because they all have to be in the same data set. You can't have some in one survey and some in another. It all has to be in one. We might want to look at the questionnaire. And this was, this looks a little funny to look at, right? But what this was, is this was something that was read to someone. So um, this wasn't the survey that the person looked at themselves. This was what the, the survey, um, the person who was paid to give the survey, what they read out loud. That's why the format looks quite different than the surveys that we've been looking at in class. For example, it's what is underlined is what the person should enunciate. And then these are the, the possible response categories, for example. So there's a lot of stuff about information and communication here. If we look over here on the left, we can see that there's stuff about residence and well-being, about values, about feelings, about world events. We can get a feel for the kinds of things that, um, that we would have in this data set. So these are some of the basics in terms of finding data. You also can look, um, you can browse by geography, for example. So if you're really interested in Texas, you can figure out, well, where has there been, who's, where have there been people who were in Texas who were surveyed? Mm -hmm. But in general, you have to find a data set that is downloadable in SPSS. Oh, they even have like a thematic collection. Like there's all sorts of different things. Oh, look, 
race and ethnicity. Um, these are archives around specific topics, Center for Population Research and LGBT Health, Child Care and Early Education Research Connections, Crime Stat, Data Sharing, all sorts of new things that they're always adding.